My name is Ethan Henry and I am 10 years old. I attend Peter's Hall Primary School. I would like to be a cardiologist when I grow up. I have been preparing for the National Grade 6 assessment by watching the booster videos from Guyana Learning Channel and studying. My name is Nathan Lam. I am 11 year old and I attend Marion Academy School. I would like to be an engineer. I'm not sure what type of engineer. I've been using the government study package and the worksheets and I've been watching the Diana Learning Channel. I invited to participate in WizKids because it's for educational purposes and if I get a question wrong, I will learn. My name is Miles Gonzalez, I am 11 years old and I attend the School of Nations. I want to be an artist or a biologist when I become older. I've been using the study packages and working with my parents on the previous past papers to prepare for the NGS. I decided to participate in order to challenge myself and test my capabilities. Welcome to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and today we've gathered another set of the brightest and sharpest minds across Guyana to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Get ready for a fun-filled show of challenging questions and thrilling competition. And remember, we're not just testing their knowledge, we're also testing their speed. Let's get ready to meet our contestants and see who will advance to the semi-finals to compete for the title of WizKids Champion 2023. So contestant number one, please introduce yourself for us, please. My name is Ethan Henry. I'm 10 years old and I attend Peter's Hall Primary School. Awesome. Contestant number two. My name is Nathan Lamb. I'm 11 years old and I attend Marion Academy. All right. Contestant number three. I am Miles Gonzalez. I'm 11 years old and I attend the School of Nations. Awesome. Welcome, guys. All right, let's get started. Let's start with English, please. An author may be writing to educate, entertain, or persuade. The author's reason for creating a specific piece of work is called... So no one attempted to answer that. The correct answer would have been the author's purpose. All right, let's proceed to science, please. How many chambers are there in the human heart? Contestant number one. There are two chambers in the human heart. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been four. Let's proceed to social studies. Which ethnic group in Guyana primarily used the box hand system in the olden days? Contestant number one. The Africans. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like to go into science. Why would a magnet pick up a metal coin but not a gold bracelet? Contestant number three. Because it is not magnetic. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Please. I'd like to stay in science. Name the process or processes that would best be used to separate a mixture of sand, water, and iron filings and give the order they should follow. Contestant number three. Um... Filtration and magnetism. That's correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm, yeah, English. Which type of figurative language is a comparison of two unlike things using the word like or as? Contestant number three. A simile. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in English. Which type of figurative language is an exaggerated statement to make a point? Contestant number one. Uh, 
Okay, time would be up on that question. The correct answer would have been in hyperbole. All right, okay. let's proceed to science, please. What is the largest human organ? Contestant number three. Is this the skin? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Oh, uh, it's the science. True or false, all crabs are crustaceans. Contestant number three. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Unfinished, haphazard, and rough are all examples of what literary device? Contestant oh. number three. Adjectives. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been synonyms. Let's go ahead to social studies, please. True or false, bauxite is a mineral that is mined in Guyana, Suriname, and Jamaica. Contestant number two. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, mathematics. The unit for measuring mass is? Contestant number three. Uh, kilograms. Correct. Or grams. Yes. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Math. How many degrees are there in a straight line? Contestant number one. They are 180 degrees in a straight line. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science, please. Which organism will be at the first level in food chains? Contestant number one. The producer. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like to stay in science. What is egestion? Contestant number two. Egestion is the end of digestion. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, let's stay in science. On his way from school, Philip saw an elderly neighbor disposing of garbage in a nearby canal. What action should Philip take? Contestant number two. Uh, he can explain to him why he should not dump it in the canal. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, Matt. Negative four is a natural number, true or false? Contestant number one. False. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like social studies. Look right, look left, look right again. And if it is clear, go quickly across. This is a safety rule for the contestant number two. Pedestrian the road. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, stay in social studies. How is the weather in the eye of a hurricane? Contestant number three. It is clear. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like to stay in science. How many teeth does the average adult human have? Contestant number three. 32 teeth. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What is the most suitable synonym for the word hot? Contestant number three. Scalding. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, mathematics. Which number is neither prime nor composite? Contestant number two. One. That is correct. Kindly select your next category. A stain mat. Sonia bought a belt and a wallet. The wallet cost four times less than the belt. If the wallet cost $1,460, how much did she pay altogether for the belt and the wallet? And go ahead, contestant number two. 362 dollars. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Remember, they're asking for the overall cost for the belt in the wallet. So the answer would have been $1,825. All right. Let's proceed to English, please. The pen danced across the page is an example of... Contestant number Personification. Three. That's correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like to stay in English. When you kill two something with one stone, you have a single solution for two problems. Contestant number three. Birds. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in English. This word is often used to describe an author's attitude, either positive or negative, toward a subject.
So no one attempted to answer that. The correct answer would have been bias. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. With which activity are the techniques dredging, tunneling, and hydraulicing associated? Contestant number two. Mining. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Math. What is the approximate value of pi? Contestant number two. 22 over 7 or 3.14. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. What is the name of the flag used by Guyana before independence? Contestant number three. The Union Jack. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, English. The good girl or guy working for a positive cause of any given story is called something in a story. Contestant number three. It is called the protagonist. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I would like to go to social studies. All right. Whom did the Europeans find living in Guyana? Contestant number three. The Amerindians. That is correct. Select your next category, please. Mathematics. What comes after a million, billion, trillion? Contestant number two. Gazillion? I'm sorry, that would be quadrillion. All right, yeah, trillion. Okay. All right. Let's utilize the last English question, please. What is the most suitable antonym for the word before? Contestant number one. After. That is correct. So now we have science, social studies, and mathematics available. Kindly select your category. Science. Which color is formed by mixing blue and yellow? Contestant number three. Green. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next Mathematics. Math, please. What is the value of 60 minus open bracket 16 plus 14 close bracket plus 4 times 3? Go ahead, contestant number 2. 20. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been 42. Proceed to social studies, please. Early Europeans came to Guyana initially to... Contestant number one. Search for the golden city of El Dorado and for new lands. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'd like to go to science. I'm sorry, we've already exhausted science. So oh. you have social studies well, and mathematics available. I'd like to stay in social studies. All right. The something is a symbol of nationhood. Contestant number three. The national flag. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, social studies. All right, this is the last social studies question. To show my respect for the flag of Guyana, I should. Contestant number one. Not throw it on the floor. That is an answer. That is correct. The other answer we were looking for is standard attention when it is raised. All right. The next math question, please. What is the common factor for both 30 and 45? Contestant number three. Five. That is correct. So now we're going to have the last question for this episode of Whiskits. The operation that undoes multiplication is? Contestant number one. Division. That is correct. All right, so based on the scores, we have Miles Gonzalez as the winner for this episode of Whiskits. In second place, we have Ethan. And in third place, we have Nathan. Thank you so much for participating, guys. Congrats, Miles. For those of you who are yet to appear on the show, please remember to stay motivated and continue studying. I am Ramona Luti. Thank you for tuning in. very exciting. Looking forward to meeting my other opponents and taking the grand prize.